what's up guys how's it going this is Dominic um, haven't made an official YouTube name yet uh, but I will be getting to that shortly let me go ahead and lower this a little bit for you guys yeah okay perfect so this video is gonna be nice and simple it's gonna be top three baits I'm gonna be throwing this summer for bass fishing on a kayak I like shorter rods when I'm fishing on a kayak just because longer rods, it tends to get in the way. Um, there's numerous times where I would backlash. Hey, look at that. To or catch my rods in the back and then I lose a lot of accuracy when I use longer rods. But especially for my first bait that I will be tying on is the Lucky Craft right here. It's the Lucky Craft Gunfish. This is the Lucky Craft Gunfish AG Wakasaki color floating SH115. Um, it weighs three fifths of an ounce and it's four and a half inches long. So the profile of this is translucent as you can see. Uh, it has a nice eye on it, and if you could see the front of it, it has a coupling in the front so that way it could spit water while you're walking. This bait won't have a big walk like the Popple Walker by Spro, uh, designed by Russ Lane, but this has the combination of a spitting walk. So, a walk and I'll spit at the same time. And you can work this bait a lot faster, I believe. So this is, will be this will be the first bait I'll tie on. And for rod setup, um, so rod setup, I have the 151 XG Shimano SLX. Do a close up of it right here. And uh, the line that I have tied on it is 25 or 35 pound uh, SmackDown braid, I believe. But you could throw like Power Pro or SmackDown. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, it matters a little bit, but it gets the casting distance for me. So I, I tied it on 25 or 30 just because of casting distance. And usually a lot of the fish, if you've seen my other video, when I was throwing the Mega Bass Pop Max, they like to eat it at the end of the cast. So using a short rod, it's extra important to, sh to use braid so you could get those long casts and you can get those hook sets um, and you can load your rod faster with braid. Um, so we're gonna just tie a simple polymer knot on here. So like I said, you can work this bait super slow, you can work it super fast, cover lots of water. Um, if you're on a smaller body of water where there's not a lot of big fish, you could throw the smaller gunfish. But uh, right now I'm focusing on catching bigger fish because that's my problem. So most days are bluebird skies over in California. Uh, so I like the translucent color. I, for the Mega Bass Pop Max, I also use a translucent like bluegill color and it's just, they seem to bite it. Whether if it's cloudy or sunny, they seem to bite it really well. When it's fast moving, not as important, but if it's slow, slow presentation, I feel like you get more bites using the translucent colors. This rod, I'm not sure if they make it anymore, but if you can get a hold of one, I love this rod. And it's, I think I bought it for like 70 bucks or 120 bucks, somewhere in that range. Um, but it's a LAG 661 MFB 66 medium action rod that's for quarter to three quarter ounce baits and the line diameter to eight to 17 pound test. I get lots of casting distance on this. I can work the bait as slow as I can and it's just super light. I can work all day. I don't get fatigued. Um, it's made by Daiwa. Daiwa always makes great products. It's actually a Daiwa Laguna 661 MFB. Like I said, medium action. You don't need a... The only time I would work a medium heavy setup is when I'm around very heavy cover where those bass can get off. And I just need to just crank them in the boat and throw them in the boat. 
but if it's open water and all you're dealing with is sparse grass or rocks and shelves, this is the bait to go, this is the rod to go with, medium action. And it loads up nice where you don't even have to really set the hook, you just kind of sweep hook it. You, you get the bite, sweep, reel in, reel in, reel in, let that fish fight, don't horse it in the boat, and then just lip them. This will be number one bait I'm gonna tie on. There we go, got one. One on the gunfish, guys. Tiny. <laughs> At least I think he's fighting like he's a beast. One on the gunfish. Let's see if we can put him in the boat. He has any buddies with him. Ooh. He's finding good. No buddies with him. Oh, he's a decent size. Decent sized bass. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, guys, there we go. That's what top water gunfish can get you right there. Two more baits to go, guys. Okay, well, that was a fast release. <laughs> I tried to grip him right here so I can measure him, but uh, that's not happening. All right, number two bait to use. So we covered top water and now we gotta work with suspending bass over points or humps. That's more offshore. Uh, but you could also fish this shallow, but keep in mind if you have a lot of grass like Florida or the Delta and you have tons of hydrilla and basically the lake management is not spraying the grass, um, it might be difficult to fish this, but if you're sh if you're shooting for offshore waters, this is the bait to use. So this is the Okashira screw head for swim baits. Let me go ahead and zoom into that. This is the Okashira Okashira swim bait heads. I'm gonna be throwing one eighth ounce with either a Kitek swim bait or a Mega Bass Hazadong Shad. This technique works extremely well if you're trying to match the bait size of the shad at your lake, so. Hazadong Shad, check that out. Does that match the hatch or what? Damn, damn near close. Good luck, guy. Grassy areas, sparse grass areas, any vegetation that you got, brush piles, if you swim this over it, you have a chance of bringing those suspended fish up. You just need to just dangle that bait on them. You should be fine. I'm gonna throw this one on a medium heavy rod, Dobbins. I think I should go down to a medium, medium action rod. So we got two baits out of the way. We got the gunfish, and then we got the mega bass, Hazadong, shad tied on to this okashira screw on head and then let's put this aside and if i only had one more rod to bring it would probably be hmm this is hard jigs always get big bites Finkos, worms right now are very popular so next setup the next bait i will be throwing I would normally include my top summer bait, um, which would be shaky hit. But I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. So when I'm fishing thick grass, 
I tend to want to be more weedless. So what I'm gonna be throwing as my final third bait is gonna be a Texas rig. Cut off the tag end. Now you got your three aught with a quarter ounce tungsten weight right here. And that bait will be nose down just like so. And the floating worms, the straight tail will be pointing up. For the bait of choice, I'm gonna go with the Robo Worm 6 inch MM3 color. So many big bass on this. This will be my final bait that I'll be throwing out of the top three off of my kayak. Texas rig, second bait down, baby. Hey guys, so mark some fish, about 22 feet of water. I went from a 116 thinking it was a little bit too heavy in the shallow areas to a quarter ounce when I went to deeper water so that way I can get down there and just fish more efficiently. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and measure this fish. Like I said, got it on the drop, Texas rig, two baits down, one on the gunfish, one on the Texas rig. Let's go. 16 and a quarter. Go back down there and tell your biggins, your uncles and aunties to bite. is a thick one. That is a nice one on the Texas rig, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Get it back in the water. Very short and fat. I mean, this guy probably weighs the same amount and a quarter inch shorter. Crazy. Let's go and release him. Fat boy, they've been eating good. Get back down. Tell your mama to bite. Let's go.
other one and the Texas rig. Go oh, baby, that's a kayak bass right there. Check that one out right there. That's an 18 inch bass all day. Let's go ahead and measure it, get it back in the water. Ooh, just short. That one is a 17 and 3 quarters inch bass, three pounds all day. They are thick. You guys need to get out here. They're feeding. Let's go and release him. If I can catch fish on all three baits, then you be sure, click on the link below. I'll have all the baits linked up below so that way you can pur purchase it easily. Most likely you can probably get it prime shipped or you can always hit up Tackle Warehouse. They have pretty good shipping over there. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like this video, it will help me tremendously get more views and get more subscribers. I'm trying to build up my subscription list so that I can eventually monetize and keep on doing what I love. But check it out. I'll, I'll update you guys later. Peace.